Hi people, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. We all know the pandemic is spreading very fastly. Don't worry about it. Stay safe while you are out and keep your health and eat good food, stay healthy and it's a apt time or it's a corner time to spend your rest of the time for study. When you spend the rest of the time and divide it into a proper timetable, you no need to be tensed and no need to be worried and no need to spend your study or remain or to put your studies for pending mode and to work very tensed in that 11th hour. So in order to avoid such tensions, the best way is to speak or to create a proper timetable for your study. So it is a peak time you can study and you have ample opportunity or ample time to spend the rest of the time for your study. So let's start. Today we are going to discuss an important topic for HSST for PhD, MPhil entrance, net set, etc. And the topic is Alexander Pope's Etiquette's Passage from Epistle to Dr. Arbuino. Alexander Pope, uh, <clears throat> Alexander Pope's Etiquette's Passage, this is a part or a lesson from his collection from Epistle to Dr. Arbuino. And here we discuss some important questions regarding this chapter. And we will discuss about Alexander Pope in detail in the coming class. We know that it's a very vast topic, especially for HSC, HSST and all. They vast topic and we are unable to complete entire lesson in one part. Maybe a lesson had to be divided into two, three, maybe four, five parts, etc. But this is the first section. Uh, no, sorry. This is a section we had to only discuss about 10 important questions about Alexander Pope in this and we discuss a further uh, notes or further ideas regarding this chapter in the coming up series or in the coming or forthcoming video series. So let's start. The first question. Alexander Pope was nicknamed as Dash. Alexander Pope was nicknamed as Dash. Option A, the Bad of Heaven. Option B, the Bad of Tikna. Option C, the Sweet Son of Thame. And option D, both B and C. It's a very important question. We have to study about the nickname of all the major writers. It is good to mug. You can mug as soon as possible, but it's very difficult to mug the entire things. So we can note it down and study and keep it in your memory. Okay, so Alexandra Pope was nicknamed as both B and C. It's called as the Bard of Tikham and also the sweet fan of things. D. Then second one. Epistle to Dr. Edward Nott is a satire written in Dash. Epistle to Dr. Edward Nott is a satire written in Dash. Option A, Tessa Rima. Option B, Blank Verse. Option C, Heroic Couplet. Option D, Free Verse. The right answer is Option C, Heroic Couplet. So, Epistle to Edward, Dr. Edward Nott is a satire written in which format? Heroic Couplet. Third one. Epistle to Dr. Edward Nott is addressed to Pope's friend, John Arbuznot. John Arbuznot was who? Epistle to Dr. Arbuznot is addressed to Pope's close friend John Arbuznot. Then whom this John Arbuznot was? Option A, playwright. Option B, a physician. Option C, a critic. Option D, a novelist. So right answer is option B, a physician. So John Arbuznot in this work, Epistle to Dr. Arbuznot is a physician. Fourth one. The ticket passage is grammatically a single sentence comprising of dash. A ticket passage is a grammatically single sentence comprise of option A 20 lines, B 24 lines, C 25 lines, D 22 lines. So, should be very careful. A ticket passage is a single sentence comprising of 22 lines. So, a ticket passage is a single sentence having 22 lines. You have to study properly. No confusion had to be arise from that. It's because it is quite common to arouse such kind of confusion from this kind of option. So 22 lines are there. The Atticus passage is a grammatically single sentence with 22 lines. Option fifth. Who then fifth one? Who is referred to as Atticus in Atticus passage? 
who is called atticus in atticus passage option a joseph addison b richard steel c jonathan stip or d dr abutnot right answer is joseph edison so who is atticus in atticus passage option a joseph edison sixth one in the beginning of the passage for praise atticus that he was born to dash in the beginning of passage for praise atticus that he was born to dash option a right b converse c live with this d all of the above so right answer is all of above actually atticus is born to write he was born to converse and he was to made to live with is of seventh one pope come by atticus to dash who be a no brother near the throne pope come by atticus to dash who be a no brother near the throne option a the french option b the roman option c turk and option d the greek so right answer is option c the turk or come by atticus to turk then eighth one willing to wound and yet afraid to strike identify the figure of speech in this given line willing to wound and yet afraid to strike what figure of speech is applied here option a assonance b simile c alliteration and d personification right answer is alliteration willing to wound and yet to afraid to strike this alliteration ninth one like cato gave the senate law pope compares and city attendee to his own plows pope compares atticus to cato who was he he is a roman statesman option b english autocrat c a french ruler d none of the above right answer is a roman statesman who is cato mentioned in the line he is a roman statesman so last one in this uh, section pope atticus a timorous foe and dash pope called atticus a timorous foe and dash a faithful friend b faithful foe c a suspicious friend and d dangerous friend so pope called atticus a timorous foe and a suspicious friend option c suspicious friend so we will come with details about this chapter in the next or upcoming series so hope you all enjoy study well stay safe and hope you all enjoy and this is signing off goodbye